Hi ladies, it's Karen, and this is my entry for Lydia's Paper Bag Challenge. I triple dog dare use Paper Bag Challenge. Um, I used a regular everyday lunch uh, paper bag, you know, lunch sack in the craft color. And I did mine obviously in a beach theme. I used the Kane Company um, Travel Paper by Tim Coffee. I used the 12x12 paper, but this is the matte stack, and it's gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So um, let me take out the, these tags so I can share what I did. So um, let's see, for the, for the starfish, I used my stickles, and I can't remember if it's ice stickles or not, but it has a really nice shimmer to it. But I used the orange stickles, and I used the um, a bluish teal stickles for these for the seaweed here, and I think it came out really cute. Um, I don't use stickles a whole lot. Um, I'm glad I thought to do it on this project. Um, and there's the the starfish. I also filled the starfish with um, glossy accents to bring it out a little bit to highlight the starfish a little bit. Um, this trim here, this burlap type trim, is I received from Cassie, and I just I just love that that um, burlap trim, Cassie. And then also these little peach beads here are also from Cassie. The, this flower here underneath is is a recollections um, flower, and see it has music stamp uh, music print already stamped on the flower. And then I took a, a flower that Stephanie had given me in a recent rack, a big gorgeous white flower. So I, I used my, um, my Tainted Love Teal to color it. And I just love the color that it, that it became. So that's that. These flowers here are from For the Love of Art that I had gotten a long time ago. I, I layered it on top of some white burlap underneath to give it more of a beachy feel. This is, um, I had an anklet that broke, so I saved the beads and the seashells that were on it. So this is one of the seashells, and um, this is just a pearl that I, ha that I had in my stash. And I sprayed that with, um, scintillating silver. Then on the back I used some canvas that I had gotten at Michael's and this is the canvas that has the butterflies printed on it. I just you know turned it over and used this side, used the opposite side. Um, I stamped this image with my Stazon ink. It's a wooden stamp that I have. And then I sprayed um, some of my I sprayed this, it's called Buccaneer Bay Blue, and it's a moon shadow from Lindy's Stamp Gang, and it's so pretty. And for the lighter, like, um, ocean type color, it's the Aqua Sea A Asters. Well, you could see it right there. <laughs> so I sprayed that just very lightly. Um, and... And that's what I did there. I thought the stamp came out pretty good on the canvas. I wanted to give it a raw beachy feel, which is why I used canvas on the back. And then for the tags, I made I made um, this tag. I used this paper from the collection. And then I used a piece of the, that, that same burlap. And I just, you know, layered it on the paper. And for this, for this canvas on this tag, I used this Tattered Angels um, sand color, and I love this color. This it, this sprays um, a real nice sand color. I mean, it's, and I don't know if you could see the like pewter or pearlized shimmer that comes from it, but it's real, real, real cool. So that's what I sprayed on this on this tag, and then I stamped um, my sentiment. And it, sorry, 
I stamp my sentiment. It says, always maintain a kind of summer, even in the middle of winter. And that's from David Thoreau. I use the same burlap trim on the bottom here. This is a Prima petal and uh, another one of the um, seashell seashells from my broken anklet. This is another um, turquoise flower from For the Love of Art. And um, um, Cassie had given me a lot of these, um, a pack of these um, eyelets. So that's where I got the brown eyelet. Um, the lace is from Hobby Lobby. And Donna, she scrap challenge on YouTube, had given me this. Um, it was already a tan seam binding. No, it, not seam binding. Is that what it's called? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, she had already given, it was already tan, and I sprayed over it with the, the same sand, Tattered Angels, and uh, crinkled it. So that's what I did there. I thought it came out really cute. That's the back, so, you know, you could put a picture on the back there. So, um, and then for the card, for the note card, I was thinking this, this is just simply a page from this mat stack. You know, it's this, it's this page. And I just, all I did was fold it in half. Um, so that's what this is, you see. And I could either write a sentiment, you know, put a little paper in here, write a sentiment, or somebody could use it for photos. And actually, I was thinking of getting one or two more of, of those pages, folding them in half, and then putting them together and making like a little mini album. So I might end up doing that. We'll see. But at any rate, I layered the front here with this burlap that I, I, bought, I bought like a half a yard of it at Joann's at one time. So um, I put a strip of it there and I frayed it so that it would have that raw edge. And then this is a piece of paper, a scrap piece from the collection from that paper. And I just put that there. This is another Prima flower. And this is a flower, uh, another flower that Stephanie had sent me in a recent rack. And this pin is just a regular, you know, regular pin, but I put one of the beads, seashell beads, um, from my broken anklet up on it and made just a sweet little stick pin. I didn't even have to use glossy accents because it just, it fit real snug right there. So, um, thought that was cute. So, and you can tell, I guess everybody's been showing that it really is a paper bag. I taped my sides down or, you know, adhered my sides down because I didn't like it coming loose, <clears throat> you know, opening. But at any rate, um, the note card and the tag. Whoops. Sorry. It fit in the pocket. Like so. And um, I could put a um, a large tag in here and put trim around it or something like that and include it in, you know, one of my racks or something. So thank you so much, Lydia, for having this challenge. It was a lot of fun to do this. I knew I wanted to do a beach one. And um, how cool would it be to make several of these and then put binder rings in it and make like a little mini album with them? I mean, it's, it's, it's so cool, a lot of fun to do. So thank you so much, Lydia, for making me try something new. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.